What is the craziest metaverse concept you've ever heard? Do you know what happens to a metaverse user's avatar after they die in real life? The blurry boundaries we try to draw between the real and the virtual, between memory, present experience, and future vision. Who is the owner of all the information we leave behind? In today's mass awareness, how will we be remembered? Is it necessary to have a digital will? What effect does this have on the grief of those we leave behind? Today's data is increasingly intertwined with human life stories, as we all know. The internet replaces even spiritual remembering activities that have lost their meaning. The traces you leave behind will outlast you, and those mourning and remembering you will be able to see and feel them. Your smartphone, which is frequently worn on the body like jewelry and is brimming with experiences, emotions, ideas, and feelings, will play a vital role in the grieving process. What if we told you that you could be immortal in the metaverse? Isn't that surprising? Let's have a look at the possibilities. The possibility of living in the virtual world indefinitely after leaving the physical world defies human logic. On the other hand, a metaverse company provides customers with the chance to become eternal in the digital world. Although it may appear unattainable, the company attempts to achieve metaverse immortality. Somnium Space, a metaverse corporation, has finished preparations to provide users with immortality through a new Live Forever option. Somnium Space is a virtual universe in which avatars may own land, exchange things, and interact with one another. If someone wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to live forever, they'd have to provide Somnium Space with a lot of personal information. This metaverse environment is now accessible to the general public via Steam. Somnium Space's CEO and founder Artur Sikov has announced intentions to introduce a live forever option. He explained, literally if I die and I have this data collected, people can come or my kids come in and have a conversation with my avatar, with my movements, with my voice. You'll meet the person and you would maybe for the first 10 minutes while talking to that person, you would not know that it's AI. That's the goal. The terrible loss of Sikov's father from an aggressive type of cancer prompted him to create the live forever mode. Sikov believes that long after they've died in real life, your deceased loved ones will be able to communicate with you via their avatar in the metaverse. Your eternal avatar will walk, talk, and act the same way you do. As a result, digitization has made it feasible for a portion of us to become eternal. This will not happen in the distant future. It's happening right now. Is there a chance of surviving in this manifested collective memory? A wide range of new advancements may be seen that take advantage of these hopes, which are as old as humanity but have taken on new forms. What may have seemed like science fiction stuff only a few years ago is now a reality, especially after Kanye West gave Kim Kardashian a hologram of her late father for her 40th birthday, something that anybody can do due to companies like Here We Hollow in the Netherlands. Other types of digital resurrections exist, such as a widely publicized case in which a South Korean business used artificial intelligence to allow a mother to see her deceased daughter in virtual reality for the last time. That way she could say a decent goodbye, something she hadn't been able to do in real life. So the real question isn't whether we'll continue to exist in the digital world after we die, but how. We appear to want to remember our loved ones in the same way we remembered them while they were alive, which includes using the internet. But in terms of our afterlives, what do we want? Do we restrict ourselves by attempting to freeze ourselves in time digitally? But aren't we more than bots or avatars? Will the real question be what AI's limitations are when developing our digital souls? There are hazards and rewards to experimenting with increasingly advanced techniques of digitally bringing the dead back to life. The topic of how we reconcile our offline and online personas after we've departed remains unanswered. Some of us will never be satisfied with speaking into a void that never replies when we engage with a memorial website. Others will rage against the waning light, erecting magical and horrific afterlife forms, unwilling to let the dead rest in peace. We feel that a balance between computerized remembrance and emotional discharge will be required. Do you believe that immortality in the metaverse is a possibility? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you loved this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more.